Hey everybody, Victor from Victor G Photography, and today I'm making an antler headband. I took two headbands and just kind of hot glued them together just to kind of create this really thicker base for me. And then what I did was I took wire, I cut it up, and twisted it all together, one on each side. And that's going to be the base layer for the antlers. After that, all you can see is that I took a couple of smaller wire pieces, and these are going to be the points that I'm just going to twist on. And really, you can make them any length or you know shape that you want, just kind of vary it up a little bit. Taking the pliers to kind of crunch them all together just to make them tighter, but that wasn't working too well, so I just kind of used some super glue. Once you have the wire framed down, all I did was took aluminum foil and just kind of coated the whole thing. I used a bunch making different parts thicker, other parts thinner. You can wrap it around it or break it into small pieces and just kind of clump it all together just to kind of create the form that you want. And then also with the aluminum foil, you're able to still move and bend the wires to kind of create different shapes for you. Once you're happy, then you're just going to take masking tape. And what I did was I wrapped it around all the headbands as well as all of the antlers to kind of give it more of a sturdy shape. And this also will help when you're using the next step, which is using the plaster all over it. Using the plaster casting is really easy. You just wet it and just apply it onto whatever you're using. Uh, I recommend using much smaller strips because it makes it a lot easier to handle, especially when coming around curves and little areas on the antlers themselves. You see me cutting really tiny strips right there. Once you're done plastering the whole entire thing, you want to let it dry really well, and then you can paint it. That's the paint that I used uh, the day before. I spray painted it after it was completely done, and I just spray painted a flat brown. And then what I did was I took a little bit of a gold acrylic and a white acrylic, and I just started using the gold on the base of the antlers, and then just sporadically putting them all over different parts of the antlers. You really want to be careful with the blending. If you're not really good at using paint, it's really easy to mess it up. And me, I felt like I was really messing it up. So at one point I even took a wet towel just to kind of wipe it off in different parts, just to kind of make it look worn and just to get some of the gold off because it was so much. Then what I ended up doing was taking a little bit of the white as well and started painting the tips of the antlers just because I, I feel like the tips of antlers are usually a little white. Um, and again, I think I went a little overboard, so I had to take some of that off as well. It, it, it's really up to you on how you do it. Just make it something that looks somewhat resembling of it and it's something that you like. Now with the flowers, uh, I bought a bunch. Flowers are expensive, so if you've got to go to Hobby Lobby or anything or Michael's, wait for them to go on sale. But I took them, I just bought a few bunches of them and I just started taking them apart and gluing them everywhere. There's no real rhyme or reason to where I'm gluing these, just kind of whatever looks good, I was filling in space. Make sure you get the back of it too because you're not only going to be shooting from the front, it looks really good when you have it just kind of surrounding the whole area. And to me, I don't think you really can go overboard with flowers. So I was just taking pieces and you know little pieces of leaves as well and some of the other fauna and just putting them everywhere there was a nook and cranny. At one point I was also thinking about putting them on the antlers, but I figured that'd probably be a little too much. Maybe if I had some butterflies or something for a different idea, that would work pretty well. And there you have it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will talk to you guys next time.